Hello, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Dr. Ashik Hussain and I'm Assistant Professor of Anatomy at Rashid Latif Medical College, Lahore, Pakistan. So, uh, before going to the thoracic cavity or thorax, uh, I would um, prefer that we should better uh, have some insight uh, of, uh, you know, thoracic uh, vertebras and uh, ribs independently. So, later on when we, you know, discuss about the uh, thoracic cage it would be a lot easier for us to understand uh, what we are talking about so first of all I would uh, definitely go for one thoracic vertebra uh, uh, here it is and uh, here we can see the thoracic vertebra it is comprised of the body here we can see so this is the body of the thoracic vertebra and uh, then we have got uh, on the body we have got attached a pedicle here which you can see if we, i zoom in it this this portion is called pedicle which is attached into the upper part of the thoracic uh, you know vertebra and as a result the inferiorly we have got uh, this up uh, uh, we, we, we there becomes an arch just behind the lower part of the uh, you know uh, vertebral body which is uh, uh, which later on I will discuss that how it trans this arch transforms into intervertebral foramina. So what we have learned up till uh, now that this is the body of the vertebral body, uh, sorry, ver vertebra, thoracic vertebra, and this is pedicle. And pedicle is attached to these two are called laminas, laminas. And the in midline, both laminas, they unite together to form a spinous process. So this is the spinous process of the thoracic vertebra. This is called th spinous process. And this spinous process is one in number. And it is, uh, you can see that it is in case of, uh, it has got, this spinous process has got different shapes in different, you know, uh, 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 reg regional vertebras. So in case of thoracic vertebra, it is, you know, uh, oblique and uh, sharp and slanting and uh, uh, directed downwards uh, so this is the posterior aspect of lamina on both sides and these two are pedicles so as a result pedic two pedicles and two lamina they uh, you know com complete a ring behind the body and this these uh, this ring is called neural arch so between the you know body of the vertebra and lamina on either side and pedicle here we can see we have got a you know uh, empty space and this is called vertebral canal where actually uh, spinal cord is present so uh, again we can see on the junction of the pedicle and lamina here we have got a transverse process on either side transverse process on either side and this transverse process is directed laterally and posteriorly if we can see from above uh, uh, from the view above we can see it is slightly directed backwards so on that uh, you know transverse process of the uh, this uh, thoracic vertebra we have got here we have we can see that we have got two uh, you know uh, articular facets which are for the tubercle of the rib and they result in the formation of the costo transverse joint costo transverse joint and uh, uh, superiorly at the junction of this lamina and pedicle we have got vertical uh, two uh, two vertical you know projections which are called superior articular facets and likewise uh, inferiorly we have uh, got two inferior articular facets so superior articular facets if we can see it is directed uh, you know slightly laterally and posteriorly whereas inferior articular facets they are directed anteriorly and medially slightly medially towards each other so these two articular facets they joint uh, they, they form uh, you know uh, uh, joint with the inferior articular facets of the vertebra above and these two inferior articular facets on either side they form the joint with the uh, superior articular facets of the vertebra below so this is the way you know vertebral bodies they interlock with each other and they result in a continuous you know fall, uh, 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 continuous column uh, 
so vertebral body actually has got uh, uh, three intervertebral joints one joint is formed between the body of one vertebra with the body of other vertebra whereas between these two vertebral bodies we have a uh, uh, you know mm, a vertebral disc a uh, vertebral disc which is fibrocartilage in nature and uh, uh, this vertebral disc prevents uh, uh, is play as a shock, shock absorber uh, so likewise inferiorly again we have got another vertebral intervertebral disc between the this vertebra and the vertebra below so this was a brief about the you know uh, vertebral body yes and the one of the most uh, you know peculiar feature of these um, mm. Uh, thoracic vertebral body uh, is that it has got uh, two uh, um, uh, two important features two important uh, you know features uh, these features are called uh, demi facets and these demi facets are um, a feature of thoracic vertebra only uh, they are not found in the cervical vertebra or lumbar vertebra or uh, sacral or any other vertebra demi facets these articulates with the head of the rib so one demi uh, uh, demi facet articulates with the uh, uh, um, um, you know uh, with the inferior facet of the rib uh, in short uh, in a short in a short time i will uh, you know uh, uh, tell you guys how a one rib it actually articulates with the two demi facets and as a result one rib is articulating with the two vertebral uh, uh, vertebral bodies uh, uh, which i uh, we will discuss in detail in a while thank you very much